Yo, what is going on, Seven Plus Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you can see, we're somewhere a little bit different for today's video. I'm actually in my apartment as opposed to my setup, my office space where I would usually record. And that's essentially just to kind of have a little sit down with you guys to discuss 2018 and how fantastic it's been and how many great people I've, made, uh, I've met. And also kind of the plans for 2019 because you guys, believe it or not, are a huge portion of my life right now. So I feel as though it's only right to kind of just have a little sit down, chilled out discussion with you guys. There's no script whatsoever with this video. I'm just kind of fingers crossed I'm in focused. Fingers crossed it doesn't look too messy. And fingers crossed that this uh, this... This external microphone I've got for the camera is a, is all right because it's not the one I'd usually use for my setup. So there's a lot of fingers crossed, but let's hope this video isn't too bad. Also, there's not going to really be much going on on the screen. So if you if you feel like you just kind of want to listen as opposed to watch, you can just kind of like tab out, go on Twitter, go on whatever you want to do. Maybe just listen to the background. That's that's completely fine. Uh, but what I want to start off with is 2018. 2018 was kind of Arguably maybe the best year of my life. I I was already with my girlfriend going into 2018, but as you can see, we've kind of, we've moved out now early on this year into our own space, which is fantastic because I can get way, way, way more videos than I can do back at where I was living with my grandparents. So that's fantastic. And because of that, I was, I was able to bring back this channel because some of you guys may not know, but I've been doing YouTube for as long as I can remember, like six, seven years possibly. I mean, this channel's been around for about about four, no, about three years this channel's been around uh, and I've had multiple other channels way before that as well, going back to like 2010. So YouTube's always been a massive part of me and now that I've been able to kind of like bring it back and do something I love because I've been in and out of doing different things. I've done like Call of Duty, FIFA, anime, Pokemon. Pokemon was kind of like the one that kind of blew up this channel a little, little bit and then I started to turn it into anime and then I went to vlogging, which was terrible. I, I, awful decision to me that was. I, I lost so many subscribers off doing that. And then I finally come back to anime and it's probably the longest streak I've had on YouTube and the most fun I've had on YouTube as well, which is really help me keep on going uh being able to enjoy it really makes it go a long way so obviously i've only got you guys to thank for that i think there's so many people i could thank it but if i sat down and literally went through every single one of you guys this video would go on for hours so i just want to kind of quickly name some names um for example the boruto group on twitter you guys know all who you are and there's so many of you and you guys have probably been some of my favorite people to talk to throughout 2018 so i thank you all for that off the top of my head is you know you've got people like uh ray Rasen, and patrick mikey different sal i could keep going Quan. all of you guys you, i've spoken to you like every single day and if you don't take offense if I didn't mention your name right there, because there's so many awesome people in that chat that I could, I literally, I'd, I'd talk to you all day if I could. I honestly could. It's been fantastic. You've also got some of my YouTube friends who've really helped me out. Um, Eternal Hope Garga, he, he's, I've not done any videos with him as much as I'd love to. Uh, Hint, hint. Um, no, uh, he's a great guy to talk to. He's probably the first person I talked to in the Barata community, and he was extremely warm and welcoming into that community. So thank you to thank you to you, Barra Barra B. You've really helped my channel. I've done a couple of collabs with you, and they've been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed talking to you and everything. You're a great friend, and like I said, thank you so much for uh, bringing so many new Senpai Squad members over to my channel. You, you've been a, a huge help, and then there's tons of others. I could I could go on for ages, like I said, but they're just. To keep this video short, I'm not going to go for everyone, but you guys, if I've spoken to you at all, and there's, there's other tons of people on Twitter, I, I can't keep on going. I'm getting, getting lost. Basically, get the gist of it. If I've talked to you, and I talk to you regularly, then thank you so much. Fantastic. And the goal of the Senpai Squad members who comment on all videos, I, I know who you are. You know, for example, like Matthew Diaz, thank you so much. You, you're always there, straight away. You're all fantastic, every single one of you. So without sounding too soppy and stupid that uh, yeah for like the one millionth time in this video thank you the other thing i wanted to talk about is obviously boruto has and always will be the main focus of this channel boruto naruto um uh, that's kind of what got me going i was doing other anime like little anime quizzes and challenges and things which i don't get me wrong i love doing i really want to uh, kind of bring them back at some point but i think it was the boruto live reactions which really took my channel off or at least exposed it to the Boruto community and obviously our, with the latest chapter, chapter 30, I brought those back. They're, they're a lot of fun to do. And then ever since then it's just been Boruto Boruto. 
I have introduced Black Clover to the channel. I don't do Black Clover as much as I want to. It's usually only a review once a week. I do have other Black Clover discussion videos lined up in the backlog. For example, ranking the strongest Magic Knight captains. That is one which uh, I need to get to work on, but I'm kind of scared to put out because, you know, whenever you start to go into power scaling and ranking, especially if you're a novice like me, whew, do you, you know there's death threats on the horizon from that. So. I'll see, I'm trying to get more Black Clover done, but going into 2018, it's obviously going to be Boruto and Naruto is still going to be the main focus, with Black Clover being like the secondary focus, but there's so many other anime coming out next year that it, it, it'd be criminal for me to ignore them. Uh, one of the big ones starting in January, The Promised Neverland, I'm a huge fan, I attempted to bring that back, I attempted to bring that to the channel at some point, way in its early life cycle, and... I adore The Promised Neverland. I'm all caught up on the manga. If you don't read it, then either read it or wait a couple weeks or less than that, like eight days, nine days, something like that for the anime because it is, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. It's like Death Note meets Attack on Titan. So the anime reviews for that are 100% coming. There are some other anime getting adaptations in 2019, which I'm considering maybe picking up because for example, you've got Dr. Stone. I've read a few chapters of that. I think it looks very intriguing. So maybe I'll pick up the anime for that. And if you guys would like me to review it, then you know I'm definitely considering it. The other one which I hear so much praise about, which I really want to read, but because because I'm actually, uh, I've started the One Piece manga. Yes, that that challenge, which will take years. I, I've picked up One Piece, and so the chances of me reading Kimetsu no Yaiba at any any time sooner are very slim. So I'll probably just pick up the anime when it starts next year. So I'm very excited to potentially bring reviews for that to the channel because I, I imagine some of you guys are probably fans of that, and I'm sure there's probably other other anime and, and manga that are coming out at some point. I mean, Kishimoto's new one, Samurai 8. You know, that's in spring, that manga. So, I'll definitely at least talk about the first chapter of that 100%, see how it does. So, maybe that as well. So, I'm attempting, basically, 2018 was kind of just like settling my feet into like the whole reviewing industry. Would you call it an industry? You probably wouldn't. But kind of cementing myself and then 2019 i'm really going to attempt to try and branch out into other content because as much as i love boruto and naruto to to absolute pieces you know i also love tons of other anime and manga so if i was able to talk about them as well as boruto and naruto that'd be fantastic so uh that doesn't change the fact that obviously boruto is going to always be the number one focus because you know it's probably the one i enjoy the most but it's not going to stop me bringing some of the other series i love to the channel so you guys will have to let me know what you think of all them. The main ones, like I said, are probably Samurai 8, Doctor Stone, Kimetsu no Yaiba, and The Promised Neverland. They're the ones I'm probably thinking about the most, bringing to the channel, along with obviously Black Clover and Boruto. But you guys will have to let me know what you think, how that sounds. You know, that's the, the very, very interesting to see how that goes, I think, because it could go very wrong or it could go fantastic. I'm not too sure. And uh, you can tell this is not a scripted video because. I don't know what to move on to now. I had a lot more planned for this video, in my head at least, I thought, anyway. But essentially, like I said, it was just a huge, huge thank you to the Sen Senpai Squad. That's the main focus of this video because I I've loved every one of you. The channel has severely just like skyrocketed. I think at the start of this year, when I started properly doing videos, I was on like 1,100 subs and I'm nearly on 2K. I think, you know, I'm going to set some goals. Well, I actually set some goals at the beginning of this year, funnily enough. Um, some of them I hit, some of them I didn't. The YouTube ones were like to reach 2.5k. Obviously, I didn't reach that, uh, but that's definitely the goal for early next year. I'm going to try and smash through that because we're very nearly at 2k. I'm going to try and get the other 500 out of the way as soon as possible. The 12 months, 12 months of content, and I feel like I can do a lot with that. So we're aiming for 5k. We're aiming for 5k by the end of the next year. I think that'd be fantastic. And then just seeing more of you guys. I want to collab with more people. Obviously, I've done collabs with Barrow B. That's about it, you know. Leave all the people you want me to collab with in the comments section down below. Tweet them on Twitter, something like that, you know. Get their attention. It'll be very fun to see who you guys want me to work with. And other than that, I think that's kind of it, you know. I mean, like I said, one more damn time. Arigato Senpai Squad, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you'll stick with me throughout 2019 as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Leave your, I was going to say leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section, but 
there's not many thoughts and opinions to do with 2018 is there really you know you know t t t do whatever you want in the, t in the comment section let's uh let's let's get a party going guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're not ready to become a member of the senpai squad ready to throw ourselves into 2019 and i'll see you guys in another video but until then peace